What's up, Chicago? So, everywhere I turn since I've been back home, I still got an ankle bracelet on my leg. I'm seeing another one of our artists get gunned down somewhere for some nonsense. Um, and I felt the need to speak on it. Uh, rest in peace, uh, King Bond. Um, FBG Duck, uh, Dutch, uh, you know, it's pretty sad that we look for all the wrong things in, in, in the situation. I, I think um, we have to take it down to uh, the simplistic measure of creativity and the responsibility of a creative soul and a person who's putting a body of work out into the universe to manifest. Our words have power. They have energies to them. Uh, so all you get a check quick ass motherfuckers around all these youngsters who just sign these kids and give them no direction and allow them to spread hate and spew all that hatred into our community, I wanna just really talk to y'all, man. So, you know, this video is kind of like a call out, a reach out to all the OGs and all the powers that be who's coming into our city, signing all these young, talented young men and not giving them any direction, not letting them stand for something other than negativity. Music gave you feelings of joy and dancing and laughter. Uh, some things were painful and helped you work through pain and oppression. Um, some things were about stopping the violence. Some things were about rising up against uh, systematic oppression and the police. And, you know, what is it that we, we're allowing our youth to stand for right now? All I hear is these motherfuckers, every bar shooting something, shooting something, drilling something, fucking something without a care in the world. And we allow that to go out into social media and into the world and infect all the rest of our children to think that it's okay. You know, yeah, the whatever they say, the police shot him or whatever, but... What drove y'all to have an altercation? What drove y'all to have some beef? These words in these songs? Hip hop in its most purest essence is about the battle. But don't get it misconstrued. It's about the battle right there between two MCs, word for word, bar for bar. Oh, you got me, you one up to me. You did better than I did on this verse. What is this? What are we doing here? And I'm, you know, this is a call to action. You know, get at me. I'm gonna tag a bunch of, bunch of the old guys, and I, I you know, I want to do something about this. I'm not just gonna stand around. I'm in the music industry. I'm still in the music industry. I've been in the music industry since 1987 when I fell in love with a turntable. So I can't see this self-destruct in the way that it's doing. You know, I lost my man to violence, to the streets. But we also weren't out there promoting this shit that we're promoting right now. We have to have some structure. We have to have some order. We have to have some peace here. We've got enough things to worry about in this city than to be worrying about killing each other. So um, respectfully to the family, my condolences. Um, to all, everyone that we've lost, you know, not just musicians and not just rappers, but the mother that's sitting at home crying right now because we're dropping at an alarming rate. What do you tell her when her son was sitting there listening to your CD, carrying a gun around, glorifying that shit? Come on, y'all. We could do better. Reach one, teach one. Wrong and strong.